Are you thinking of moving to Sarasota? Not sure where to start? Well, today I have that all covered for you. In today's video, it's all about discovering Sarasota, how to determine if this area is right for you. I'm gonna share some great ways to explore and learn about our fabulous city. So first, if you have found any of my videos to be helpful or you're new to my channel, please subscribe and also hit that bell button so you'll be notified when I post new videos, which I do every week. I'm Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts and my team and I love helping so many people move to the area. Just give us a call if we can be of any help. Now I have discovered so many wonderful things about living in Sarasota since moving here six years ago and most of these things no one told me about or gave me this suggestion before I moved here so I thought this would be a great way for people moving to the area to explore but also if you've recently moved to the area I'd love your feedback and input to help others find it as easy to get around and as enjoyable as we do. Now the number one thing you have to do before deciding to move to Sarasota is to plan a great visit and discover exactly why so many people are choosing to call it home. Now the first thing I would do on your visit is take a very scenic, slow drive throughout our beautiful beach communities. I mean, really, this is the number one reason most people move to Florida Gulf Coast is our beaches, our beautiful weather, amazing sun sets. So I'm gonna set you off on a journey to really explore. I suggest starting on Anna Maria Island and exploring some breakfast options. Check out the water, Bean Point, Coquino Beach is beautiful. Drive around for a few minutes and you will immediately feel this very relaxed, chill vibe of Anne Marie Island. And then next, we're gonna head south to Longboat Key. And here, the minute you cross the bridge, you'll realize you've stepped into a whole nother world. This is a very posh, elite, beautiful landscaping, multi-million dollar homes, towering condos, just lush golf courses. It is simply one of the most gorgeous keys anywhere in Florida. So I I suggest maybe stopping for lunch along the intercoastal. Now, as you continue south, you're gonna discover St. Armand's Circle, which is one of Sarasota's premier shopping districts. Now, whether you're visiting or you live here year round, everyone loves St. Armand's and Lido Key. Actually, a little secret from those of us that live here year round, Lido Key really feels like our beach, the locals beach. Lido Key is quieter, it's less crowded, not as many seasonal people, and part of the reason is there's not as many short-term rentals on Lido Key. Now we're gonna get you off these islands for just a bit. You're gonna cross John Ringling Bridge and head over to the mainland of Sarasota. As you're doing this, you're gonna experience Sarasota's skyline and our views of the amazing Bayfront Park. Downtown Sarasota is filled with great dining, great arts, theater, shopping. It's definitely one of the best downtowns in Florida. It's not too big, it's not too small, there's a lot to see. You could take all day and just explore shops between Main Street all the way to Fruitville and then south to Burns Court. But before you do this, we need to check out Siesta Key. Make sure you're in your car heading south. One more time, and we're gonna take the north entrance to Siesta Key. And you're gonna check out Siesta Key Village. Here you're gonna find it just bustling with activity. There's visitors exploring, enjoying, relaxing. And then we're gonna end the day with a nice walk on the beach. Beach. you're gonna discover the south powdery sands of Siesta Key before calling it a day. So now you've explored our beaches and you understand how in this short 35 mile drive, we have seen so much beauty and variety and we have access to this year round. So now that I've convinced you that the beaches are the best, let's explore the city and neighborhoods because deciding where you want to live is really hard in Sarasota. Let's start by exploring some of the vintage neighborhoods close Close to downtown. In this area, I highly recommend visiting and driving through Gillespie Park, Arlington Park, Lowell Park, and any of the West of Trail neighborhoods. Now these neighborhoods are small and will not take you a long time to discover. Just meander through them. From here, I'm going to have you head south on Tamiami Trail to Proctor. Now on Proctor, I'm going to recommend turning east and you're going to drive by some schools and different neighborhoods. These are all ungated, so I highly suggest dipping out in and out of these neighborhoods. Now many were built in the 70s through the 90s and you're gonna find some large ranch style homes. You're gonna find some small ranch style homes. You're gonna find neighborhoods of 100 homes and some that are a couple hundreds of homes. I think it's really
really important to discover what our neighborhoods are like and driving through them will definitely help. So after discovering some of these locations, turn south on Honore, when you get to Honore off of Proctor, turn south, go past Clark Road, and you're gonna discover Palmer Ranch. Palmer Ranch is a planned urban development that started in the late 80s and it's continually being developed today. There are over 60 different neighborhoods throughout Palmer Ranch. You're quickly going to experience this beautifully landscaped area. You will see bikers along the Legacy Trail and you're gonna find yourself amongst a lot of gated neighborhoods. Now there's plenty of ungated neighborhoods also that you can slip in and out of to really get a good idea of what neighborhoods in Palmer Ranch look like. After exploring Palmer Ranch, I would tell you to continue south just a little bit where you're gonna be able to check out Nokomis and Osprey. These delightful little cities between Sarasota and Venice are just a bit further from downtown Sarasota, but they're still close to beaches. Okay, now we spent two days exploring and we need at least one more day to really get to know the Sarasota metropolitan area. And we're gonna know if this is right for you. All right, day three of exploring Sarasota, we are going to head east and north. So let's say we're gonna start downtown on Fruitville and head east until we get to Honore. Then on Honore, we're gonna turn north until you find yourself at the Meadows. The Meadows is another spring neighborhood that you will find single family homes, condos, and villas. Now one of the greatest parts of the Meadows is literally where it's located, which is right outside of University Town Center. After exploring the neighborhood of the Meadows, continue north on Honore and you're going to find yourself right at UTC shopping area. Like St. Armand's that you discovered on the first day, this is the most popular or second most popular shopping district in all of Sarasota. Featuring our UTC mall, outdoor shopping, entertainment, as well as Benderson Park right next door. This area is fantastic. You you grab a bite for lunch or check out some shopping. It's a great area. Next, we're gonna head just a little bit further east on University Parkway, and we're gonna start exploring Lakewood Ranch. Now, Lakewood Ranch is the fastest growing multi-generational community in the United States, and you're gonna quickly understand why. Lakewood Ranch has only been around since the very late 90s, and it's filled with planned neighborhoods. Now, due to the age of the city, the homes are newer than what you will find in Sarasota, and the number of new communities is just it's constantly growing there's so many of them most all of these neighborhoods will feature model homes for you to be able to explore Lakewood Ranch just constructed a second downtown area as well called Waterside which is becoming very popular so again check that out now homes around Waterside I will tell you though are getting a lot more pricey now Lakewood Ranch is quite simply known as having a very active social life lots of clubs large roadways for that's great for bikes it has a wonderful school system and many, many golf courses. It's new, it's clean, it's expansive, and it's just gonna continue and growing to the north and to the east for years to come. Okay, once you've finished in Lakewood Ranch though, it's time to head back west to explore Northern Sarasota before heading back to the heart of the city. We're gonna jump back on University Parkway and head west. Along University Parkway, I do suggest maybe ducking into Palm Air or some of the neighborhoods along there to explore Explore and really see what the options are in this part of Sarasota. We do have so many different neighborhoods and locations and that makes it pretty hard to decide which one is best for you. As we continue driving west on University Parkway, you will drive right past Sarasota International Airport and you'll find yourself outside the grounds of Ringling Museum. Now this is a must-see destination here in Sarasota. But before calling it another day as you head back to downtown Sarasota, I again would suggest meandering through the bayfront neighborhoods of Indian Beach and Sapphire Shores. So there you have it, three days to explore Sarasota and discover all the beauty and why so many people are moving here. I know it's hard when moving to a new area and you're thinking, where do I start? How do I know if this is right for me or not? Will I like it, dislike it? But I think you really need to take the time to explore. If you have any questions about our area, you're moving to the area and I can help. Just give me a call. I'm here to answer all your questions fill you in and give you lots of information about our beautiful area. As always, I really appreciate you watching. Now, if you want more information, don't forget to check out this video, five things no one tells you about Sarasota after this. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, take care.